Keeping track of your life total, as well as the life total of your opponent, is a critically important task for Magic the Gathering. So too is tracking power and toughness changes to any creatures under your control, as well as counters that may be placed on those creatures or tokens put into play by spells you control. In order to facilitate this, there are many Magic the Gathering life pads, tokens, counters, and dice offered by many different companies. Companies. This video will examine some of the accessories from Turn 1 Games, the Made for Magic Tarmogoyf Power Toughness dice from both Shimmera Craft and Tiny Tokens, as well as the new Life Calc from Legion. So which of these accessories are high quality, which are low quality, which ones are needed, and which ones are not? Let's take a look! Let's start with a treasure chest of counters offered by Turn 1 Gaming. This is actually a tough product to grade because it is highly dependent on your personal taste. The counters are shaped like hamburgers, beer mugs, fried chicken, and watermelon. Whether or not you find this appealing is probably the biggest factor in whether you like these. Maybe you like making it look like your creature is chowing down on some good grub. But maybe you'd prefer more MTG magical fantasy-like aesthetics. Either Either way, I can say that the tokens are very high quality, as in there's no rough edges or loose plastic, they're really crafted very well. But there's two major problems. The first is that their size is particularly small, and they do have a tendency to roll, especially the hamburgers and chicken, if you are not careful when you place them down. The second is the price, which is $24.99. Again, if you are looking at watermelon and beer counters and loving it, if that's your thing, then maybe these are for you. But at the price of $24.99, oh my goodness, unless your emblem is fried chicken and hamburgers, I cannot possibly recommend spending that much on these. The quality is really good, but it's just some fried chicken and hamburgers. Now, if these were more affordable, I'd be comfortable saying that if you like them, you should get them. But at this price, I can't justify offering an endorsement of an item such as this, and so I'm going to have to give it a D plus based on price. Now, the counter box, which Turn 1 Gaming says is also great for dice, but I don't think it's ideal for anything much larger than these tiny counters. Glass beads and large-sized dice fit awkwardly. It's a very tight fit, in fact. And it also makes for yet another item you have to carry with you, but at least it does have a fairly solid latch. At $9.99, the treasure chest dice box, which can store your polyhedral dice or your counters, is satisfactory, but it's far from remarkable. A plain flat C. All right, let's look at a product that has a very specific function. The Tarmogoyf Power Toughness Dice. Not only is Tarmogoyf's power and toughness constantly in flux, but the fact that the toughness is always one higher than its power makes it especially frustrating to keep track of, at least for English majors like myself. So this die by Tiny Tokens seeks to alleviate some of that frustration by providing a split power toughness value. Clever. This way, as your Goyf changes power and toughness, both you and your opponent can easily see and remember what it is at. While I like the idea of this a lot, there's a lot of problems with this specific die. Most noticeably, how hard to read it is. Now, the website these are offered from allows a wide variety of colors, both plastic and metallic, but all of them have the same problem where the number values are the same color as the rest of the die. These are also 3D printed, and they have a really cheap, flimsy, and otherwise awkward feel to them. The edges are rough, the weight is incredibly light, and the size is, I feel, too large. Depending upon the material that you select, as well as the size that you choose, this will run you about $13 for one, plus shipping and handling, because this has to be shipped to you. And for me in the USA, shipping and handling was actually quite expensive. And I think I know why shipping was so expensive. Here is the box that that one singular die came in. Inside of that box, we had not one, but two sheets of bubble wrap. Inside of that bubble wrap, we had a plastic envelope. And inside 
of the plastic envelope bag was that one $13 die. So at $13 plus shipping, given all of the other cons, this simply is not something I recommend. I'm going to have to give this a D minus based both on quality and price. Now these Shimmera Craft Tarmogoyf dice are a real improvement. The same size as a D6, the numbers are clear and legible and their size is perfect for a magic card. Now while these dice aren't of a quality I would want to use if I were rolling in D&D, they are head and shoulders above the tiny tokens goyf dice we just looked at. Depending on what material you want, $9.99 to $14.99 will get you not one, not two, not three, but yes four, an entire place set of them for what I can only assume is your play set of Goyf. Thank goodness for Modern Masters bringing the price down, huh? They're custom items as well, and as such, only really available online. So I will leave a link in the description. Shipped out of Spain, so the biggest con is that they likely take a long time to reach you. But I think the wait is worth it. Grade? B minus. Turn 1 Game Supplies also offers dry erase tokens. Interesting. So these are high quality tokens with a dry erase surface. This allows you to write in custom values, titles, even doodle a picture when you need a token. Now the quality on these is very, very high. They're really, really uh, sturdy yet flexible. This is like really great snapback plastic. It's not going to just crease and break. Very, very durable. But as an adjunct college professor, I know a thing or two about dry erase. And I knew in advance what some of the problems would be. First and foremost is that you'll need to also keep and carry a dry erase pen on you in order to use these. But if you just, you know, keep a couple tokens in your deck box, you've already got what you need. Finally, removing dry erase is usually something that needs a special eraser, not included, or just a slightly damp towel. A regular Kleenex or dry paper towel is only going to leave you with smudges. Also, if your hand brushes up against anything you've written on the token, it's going to wipe off on your hands. I'm not a big fan of having ink on my hands when I'm handling cards, even if my cards are sleeved. Also, they are double-sided, but I strongly advise against turning them upside down on your playmat or table after they have ink on them. Even if you are going to go by the premise of these enhancing a gameplay experience by adding fun or alternative ways of playing the game, I still don't think playing around with dry erase markers and magic cards is a good mix. The quality on these by itself is good, but considering you're going to end up with ink all over your hands, and that if you want to do silly doodles for a token, all you need is a sheet of paper instead, I'm going to have to give this a D. Many players use apps on their phones to keep track of life totals, but this can be draining on your phone's batteries, inconvenient if text messages pop up on screen, or downright expensive if your phone gets knocked on the floor. The Life Calc from Legion is a simple yet effective version of these apps, presented to us on an easy to use and durable separate device. The pad allows you to add or subtract one life at a time or five life at a time time, and can display life anywhere from negative 99 to 999. Great for if you're playing life gain, and I really like that they have the option for you to reset the life total to either 20 life each or, if you're playing commander, 40 life each. You can turn it on and off and the values are saved. It's both lightweight and tough, emblazoned with your choice of iconic mana symbol. Sells for about $16.95. There's a lot to love about the Legion Life Calc, but one of the things that really impresses me about it, besides the really reasonable price, is the fact that if you do use apps on your phone or tablet, all it takes is that one time to get brushed off 
the game shop table and onto the solid floor. And maybe it won't break, but do you really want to risk it with your $300 sometimes device? With the Legion Life Calc, first of all, if it does happen to break, it is not as expensive as your cell phone, but number two is the fact that it's unlikely to break. Here it's on right now, and well, I could slam it harder. And by the way, this is take three. Had some lighting issues. Because I want to go up to the camera without even cutting the scene and show you that it still works perfectly. This is an accessory that is stylish, durable, affordable, and best of all, serves an actual function and purpose. Grade B+. I hope this video has been helpful for you. You can help me out by remembering to subscribe, like, share, or even just by leaving a comment. And this video has been brought to you by the generous support of patron alums at Patreon, and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you.